Hello guys, welcome to my channel Secret Indian Trader and this is Somesh here. On today's video we are going to see a telecom stock which is HFCL Limited. HFCL Limited is a diverse telecom infrastructure enabler with active interest spanning telecom infrastructure development system integration and manufacturer and supply of high end telecom equipment. Uh, optical fiber and optical fiber cable. So when we see product portfolio, company products portfolio includes optical fiber cable, OFC, optical fiber, Wi-Fi systems, microwave radios, uh, routers, Ethernet switches, electronic fuses, electro optic devices and others. Uh, sectors where the company is acting are mostly uh, the company serves in telecom, defense, railway, utilities, and security surveillance networks both in private and government sectors when we see the revenue breakup uh, presently tuner key contracts and services account for approximately 78 percentage of its revenue and sales of telecom products account for rest 22 percentage of revenue uh, some of the clients uh, for this company is geo tata airtel Vodafone, Nokia, LNT, Orange, BSNL, BBNL, TCIL, BPCL, IOL, Railtel, HPCL, PGC, GAIL, Saudi Railways and others. Uh, when we see the geographical revenue breakup, the company has its international presence in 30 plus countries. However, exports account to, for only 2 to 3 percentage of total revenue of the company. So a focus on R&D, uh, the company is uh, promoting in-house R&D and innovation and also co-innovate uh, with other R&D houses. It has 6 to 7 products under development. Its R&D facilities are located in Bengaluru and Gurugram in India. So when we see the relationship with uh, RJIL which is Geo, the company has very strong association and has responsible for network planning and design implementation of its network for northern region of India. MD of the company is Mr. Mahendra Nahata has been on the board of RGIL since 2010. So I can see a strong relationship with uh, Reliance 2. Uh, as an outsourcing company and the company is expected to give a good quarter the company's uh, median sales growth is 26.42 percentage for the last 10 years some of the negative aspects of this company are uh, the company has uh, delivered a poor sales growth of 9.02 percentage over past five years the promoters have pledged 44.72 percentage of its holding uh, company has high debtors of 215.47 days. The company's cost of borrowing seems high. This is a small uh, cap stock. So it means that it has high risk. However, it has also high returns on the other side. So when we see the profit and loss, the company has reported net profit of approximately 306 crores for the past uh, uh, on the on the recent uh, um, quarter and it has been expected to give uh, approximately same equal or even better than the calculated amount expected amount and in March uh, 2020 the company was reporting 220 crores of prof net profit approximately so the company has good uh, profit growth as well as if we check these sales, I can see the company has a turnover of approximately 4,930 crores um, in sales and the operating profit is approximately 665 crores. So this company has a good financial background uh, as it is supporting Reliance. So it is one of an advantage. And I can see that the Reliance Geo Fiber is growing nowadays. And if you would like to invest in this particular trend, um, this is the perfect stock and it costs like only 59 rupees per stock. So this is like one of the affordable stock. 
at this price range so let's uh, get into the technical side on trading view platform so if you can see the stock is small cap and uh, it is a penny stock it can be considered as a penny stock because it is just 20 it is uh, pricing from 20 to 60 60 is like okay so 95 was the highest what it touched but how it is getting back to the uh, actual zone this hype should be because of the reliance uh, getting involved with hfcl so let's try to draw some trend lines so that we can see where we can able to get into this stock <laughs> wow so if you can see this uh, was a fake breakout over here so this could act as a major resistance zone because it's like yearly time uh, if we see the macro uh, sorry the overall picture this is uh, this could be a um, a proper resistance zone however let's see if we can able to get into this stock at a best buy price so i'm going to use fibonacci retracement over here and if you can see um okay let's break down to look into the macro picture of this stock so if you have noticed over here there is a pressure range which can act as either a support or a resistance over here at the beginning it acted as a resistance however this same price range can act as a support too so what could be the best price range to enter here let's try to draw a line oh uh, sorry draw a region so that it would be easier okay so this could be a proper price range and if you are a short term investor you can let's get into closer get closer into the details so if you are a short time trader uh, taking swing positions you can able to keep your stop loss below this particular level so that we can see if this particular level is being breached then there will be a downfall a bearish move in the stock or else if this particular region acts as a support second support it is not a major support however it could be uh, it could act as a support as well so in that case you can uh, get out of the market and if you wanted to uh, if you have book losses you can try to regain the loss from the same stock just res uh, reserve the funds or capital that you have to invest you have invested in this particular uh, stock so that you can get into this stock when the uh, when the amount hits really low so so you can able to regain your prof uh, your money back and book some profits so guys this is what i wanted to share for on today's video hope you like my review and hfcl is really value stock that you can able to add to your portfolio because of the clients valuable clients uh, governmental sector and non-governmental sector and hope you like my video if you uh, like my review please hit on the subscribe button if you uh, wanted to say something please comment it so that i can able to read and improve on my future videos uh, Leave a thumbs up and have a nice day guys. Happy Friday. Peace out.